In the last episode, we showed how CEX matching is a black box, and how hybrid DEXs apply a partial fix. Settlement goes on-chain, while sequencing and matching stay off-chain. You get more transparency, but the black box remains. Naturally, you'd ask, if settlement can live on-chain, why can't matching? Aren't chains faster and cheaper now? Why hasn't anyone moved a full order book on-chain? It sounds like just a performance problem. The reality is harsher. Traditional blockchains just don't mesh with matching engines. Here are the three main reasons. First, blockchain consensus is too slow to meet a matching engine's timing needs. Matching engines operate in milliseconds. Blockchains don't. Consensus must propagate, sequence, and finalize transactions. If any step lags, the book falls behind. Matching isn't about throughput. It's about who arrives first at sub-millisecond precision. Current chains can't guarantee that level of timing. Second, chains operate in batches. Matching is a stream. Blockchains confirm in block intervals. They collect a batch of transactions, package them into a block, then confirm. A matching engine is the opposite. It updates continuously. One order in, the book moves once. Put the book on chain, and each block confirmation introduces a brief freeze. You don't get a true real-time market, you get a stuttered step function market. For active traders, that's simply unusable. Third, every state change has to be verified by all nodes. On a CEX, an order book update is a microsecond memory write. On a blockchain, it's a network-wide state transition. Now imagine every order place, cancel, modify, match, balance move, and order book update being executed, verified, and persisted by validators. That's not just slower, it's orders of magnitude more expensive. Even the writing load from a live order book could crush most chains. Put simply, blockchains optimize for consensus to secure decentralization. Matching engines optimize for speed to ensure fairness. Their design philosophies point in opposite directions. That's why over the past six years, on-chain order book efforts have faltered, not for lack of smart people, but because the underlying assumptions conflict. You can't bolt a high-speed matcher onto a system built for decentralized consensus and global replication. The pieces don't fit. That's why AMMs became the default, not because curves are prettier than order books, but because conventional chains simply can't carry a full order book at production scale. But the story doesn't end there. Technology moves on, and chains aren't stuck with Ethereum's original model. Over the last year, some teams flipped the approach. Don't cram an order book into today's chains, reshape the chain to carry the order book. Not move matching onto an existing consensus, but make matching native to consensus. That's a different route, not an optimization, a redesign. Not the chain adapts to matching, but matching becomes part of the chain. Next episode, we'll map the common principles behind this path. It isn't a one-off hack. It's the natural evolution of a new direction.